Hi everyone, my name is Ankush Chowdhury. I am CEO and founder of LearnerMate Technologies. Today we are here to understand about the Oracle DBA questions and answers from my student who is currently taking Oracle DBA training with us. So this is the sixth episode of Oracle DBA mock interview. And previously we have recorded so many interview questions regarding the Oracle DBA. And I hope you have already seen all the previous episode. If you have not gone through that, please go check it because this is going to be really helpful for you if you want to start your career as a DBA. So today along with me, Preeti is there. Hi Preeti, how are Hello, you? Hello sir, fine. So Preeti, um, let's try to understand about the DBA concept, okay? Let's say I want to create a user, okay? We discuss about the user yes. management, right? So if I want to create a user, what are all things are required? Uh if we want to create user, then we need to write a command, create user, username, mm -hmm. identified by password. Password. And if I want to check whether the user got created or not, where I can check? Uh, there is a DBA, DBA, underscore, DBA users. underscore users table. Mm -hmm. In the table, we can check. Whether the user uh, got created or not. Yes. Now, when I'm creating a user, there are certain things uh, we need to specify. Do you remember that? Default table space. Yes, yes. Mm. One is default table space. De Another uh, temporary, temporary table, table space. space. What else? Uh, default table space is uh, when we create a user, mm. that user tables is stored in default default table space. What is the is default table space? If you are not assigning hmm. while creating user, I am not assigning any table space. So which table space will be assigned? Uh, by default, users. Users table, users table space. space. What about the temporary table space? Uh, temporary table space is uh, used to select. Uh, no, no, no. I'm talking about which temporary table space will be assigned by temp, default. Temp. temp. What else we need to assign? Profile. Yes, we need to assign profile. If we are not going to assign profile, then by default. What is default, that profile name? Uh, proof. Default. 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 Default is the profile name. Do you remember that metadata tables which store all the profiles? That table name, just like you have db underscore users is there, right? Yes. For profile, what is that? db underscore profile. db underscore profile. Okay. Now, let's say I want to change the default table space. What is the command you can use? Alter. Alter command. That's fine. Yes. Okay. If you don't remember, that's fine. But you need to use yes. alter command. Um, what is role? Uh, role, we can say role is a means same concept like group mm -hmm. if we want to assign some permission to user then we can create role mm -hmm. create role equals to role create role mm -hmm. role name ah, okay so and role is a set role, of permissions role, permissions or yeah. privileges okay so there are different different type of permissions are there uh, create session uh, but can you just give me the group name what we call it a category name create session is which permission uh, we need to uh, when we are so going to. So is it a system level permissions or create session system level? System level permission. What is the second category? Uh, system level and object level. Object permission. level permissions. Okay. So if I'm giving insert level permission on specific object, so is it object level? Object or? level. Object specific, level. Yes. Can you give me the syntax? Let's say I want to give insert level permissions. Grant. Grant, grant insert insert uh, on uh, insert on table table hmm. name hmm. to to user to user. To user. If I want to give system level permissions like insert everything insert everything. insert any okay grant insert any insert any table name to on on insert. is not there okay grant insert any to user. that user. So basically, when you have any is there na, normally create yes. any system sele select any. So that time it is a system, system level, level permission. permission. When you are giving it to the specific object, like let's say you are giving it to the specific table, so that is like a object, object level, level permission. Um, in table space, what is table space? Uh, when we are uh, inserting data, mm -hmm. that data is insert into by default by default table space. User table space. Okay. So all data is insert into table space. Which table space? Users. Users table space. Okay. And what will happen if the table space is full? Uh, storage table space is full. Hmm. What will happen? Let's say 
you have a table space with the name TBS1, which is assigned to user 1. Hmm. That table space 1 is full now. What okay. you do? Uh, we can add data file or resize data. You data. can add data file, data or, file. or resize. What yeah. is the maximum size of data file? 332. 30, 30. 32 GB. 32. And on which factor it is depend on? Like you can say, okay, maximum size of data file is 32, 32 GB. GB. On which factor? How can you say that, okay, the maximum size of data file is 32 GB only? DB block size, do you remember? Yes, DB block size. DB block, block size. size. Uh, next question will be, what is listener? Uh, listener is a mediator when we are, uh, when we want to log in, mean, means when we want to log in as a U1, then first of all, we need to uh, start our listener. So, command is ls. And now, what is the use of listener? Just tell me. What listener do? And if listener is not running, what will happen? User, uh, user can't connect. The remote users will not be able to connect, connect. to the database. Can CS user connect? Yes. Directly from server? Yes. If he is connecting from SQL developer outside, then? Uh, we have TS and TNS name. TNS name dot ORA is dot there. Ora. Both side, but client as well as server side. But do you think that this CS user can connect there? Yes. If your listener is down? Yes. CS user cannot connect from the outside world if your listener is down. Okay. If okay. it is a remote connection. Okay. What is the command to start a listener? LSNRCTL LS, start. Mm -hmm. uh, if uh, user is a dynamic, then we... User is dynamic? Uh, listener is dynamic. We have two types of listener, dynamic and static. There are two types of registration. Registration. Listener... Hmm. Dynamic and, and static. Static. What is the location of listener.ora? Network admin. Network admin. Network admin. admin. Listener.ora. So, this listener.ora will be available on client side or server side? Server side. And TNS name dot ORA? Both server as well as client size. Okay, but uh, yeah, but normally it is required on client side. Client side. So when user want to connect, how the connection will get established? First of all, user need to connect with database. Mm -hmm. After that, database uh, need to connect with listener. Means we need to start our listener, and when we are starting listener, then we can directly connect to database. So you are doing it manually or automatically it will happen everything? Manually. Okay. See, actually when user want to connect to the database, the user will use the client machine like maybe SQL developer or Toad he will use. Okay. Hmm. Then when you are entering your TNS name dot like you have a TNS name dot there, right? You need to select that. Hmm. So yes. that service, it will check whether your listener is running or not. If your listener is running, then that it? listener will check what are all databases he is registered and then that listener will connect your connections. Okay, let's say I have 500 connections are established to the database and my listener is down. What will happen? What will happen to that 500 connections? A new connection will not be allowed and 500 connection can work. If I want to change the port number of listener? Uh, let's say, yeah. what is the default port number of listener? One five two, two one. one. If I want to change that port number, how are you going to do that? Listener.ora. You can make it from. Listener. You can change it from. Listener.ora. Listener Listener or what is the other way? Uh, DBC. DBC. Netc. Netc. So you are going to call Netc, Netc. and from there yes. also you can change it. So. Next question will be like, do you know about the data gap? Comfortable? No. Export import? Achha. So in export import, let's say I want to take the backup of, we have a table, under that table we have a backup of different different countries. We have data of different different countries. But I want to take the backup of only India. You got my point? We have a table under which we have a data of India, USA and other countries also. But I want to export only India records. How are you going to do that? Say. 
in export import what parameter you can use to filter out the data from table just for the export query parameter query parameter which parameter query parameter, query parameter. if i want to let's say increase the performance of my export job which parameter you can use do you remember understand question yes parallel parallel yes huh? so you can use parallel, parallel parameter to increase the performance let's say i want to restrict my backup size like you know the dump file yes. i want to restrict that my dump should not go more than 10 gb how you are going to restrict that file size, size parameter. parameter so overall the interview was i like i'm satisfied okay um see uh, when you're giving the answer like you know try to explain the things in a better way uh, see what i feel like you know when someone is asking the questions now he is not expecting that you should know the query complete query okay? mm. but you should know how you can express like you know the flow you can tell like let's say i'm asking you how you can do the database installation so he's not saying that okay you need to call uh, like you know first of all you are going to download so you need to talk about the flow let's say like i'm going to download the database software then i'll just unzip it i'll check the permissions i'll create a directories call dbca so you don't need to tell like one one like you know command and all okay? but overall like it was nice i think like uh, if you just prepare a little bit okay yes. and just go with the flow now so you can make it okay so hardly it will take for few maybe interview for you and next two three interview you should be fine yes. okay? but again like you know go uh, the questions which i have that, that those are like very basic questions try to focus on that uh, advanced concept like you know data guard asm patching updation okay. because we dis discuss still only export import okay so when you are experienced candidate basically two three years the expectation will be little bit high but i think like you know the concept wise the basic is okay no problem in that so overall this is all about the oracle dba mock interviews again we are coming with the next mock interview with new student you just need to wait for next mock interview for that you can just subscribe share this with your friends family if you have any whatsapp group where the lot of dbas are available you can share to that whatsapp group also apart from this if you have any questions queries anything now just put it into the comment sections so that i'll ask that in the next uh, interview and i'll try to respond to that also okay so thank you thank you so much bye bye